Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, was really worried there, managed to pull it out somehow, thanks to gaining about, I don't know, infinite health from the power of glory. But, uh, wow. That, that was a rough game. And of course there was the, that almost automatic loss against the stupid Robo-sensei, that since I had no way to deal with him. Man. Very dicey, very random in the arena sometimes. But, uh, I'm just gonna push on and see if I can get that fourth win to let me make it an above par run. I don't want starting hand power word glory. When you're at full health, it's kind of stupid, right? I want to keep the holy champion, but I need th to draw things I can cast. I have lots of four cost stuff in here, as evidenced by second holy champion. Could be the same holy champion. Wow. Kind of slowish hand, although the, the the trog is helping the hand not be as horribly slow. I gotta get if I could get some kind of board control for him, it'd be awesome. Come on. Yes. Nick is fat enough. I wanna win that particular joust, because otherwise my stuff would not be so great here. Let's trog first, we'll curate later again. I'll try and put a lower priority on playing the curator right away. It's not like one of those crazy like tavern brawl or event things where it gives me a cheaper thing. So the priority isn't on getting that right away. Again, that other game against the rogue, it seems like a better it felt like a better choice than the loot hoarder, but boy did that not work out the other time. So if I could just get board control, get the demolisher out there, I might be able to just demolish a rogue. Whereas otherwise my deck does not like seem to be fast drawn. She's gonna trade both her guys to kill mine, or no? Okay. So, got choices. I could kill the bluegill and then heal my guy. Then I'm not doing anything else with my turn. I could kill the bluegill, play the demolisher. My opponent could trade this to kill the the trog, but then I would have this in play. Should be pretty good. So I'm gonna try that. Yes, you can kill my trog for cheap. That's a really good deal for you, except that you lost a bluegill in the process, and if the demolisher stays out, you might have a bad day. Of course, you could keep your crappy 1-2 alive to maybe eat a shot from the demolisher. That doesn't seem like as good a plan as just killing my guy. I guess you could stab my guy if you got nothing you could play. That would be horrible for you. You would you would not want to be in a situation where you, your turn your response to this was make a dagger, stab my guy, and attack me with the 1-2. That would be a horrible turn for the rogue. She really wants to like kill him and then play something that can survive the demolisher. Wow, if I could get a situation with her followed by this and get some crazy multi-healing going on. That's looking too far ahead though. I'm pretty sure my opponent's going to do something trying to stop me. Although, if she had a good play, she might have played it already. Maybe she has too many good plays. She should probably play one before time runs out. Point out what? Uh, it's not great, but it could be worse. Might be setting myself up for good stuff, or maybe not. Maybe the trial can just take her out. Both of my things are pretty annoying things to leave alive, though. The trog hits her, the demolisher might finish it. It's not big enough to kill the demolisher on its own, although trog plus stab would work just fine. And stabbing a demolisher is actually usually pretty good, because it's only hitting you back for one. Yeah, it is an unpleasant thing to leave alive. Or you're just going to play more fatness and see if you can fight through it. Oh, that's pretty annoying. One day, I'll be a real knight. Boo. Oh, she's going to become gigantic, but... Uh, 
frog could be a problem. Or I could... No, I can't blow up the frog yet. No. Okay. So the plan is kill that, because it's annoying me. And then Dark Scale Healer, Giant Champion. So. Now, she, I, I've been in a good position all game, right? She might be able to trade some stuff and kill that, but unless she has an Assassinate, I'm probably going to still have a 4-5 on the board. It's getting time to curate, probably, although if for some reason the Trog's still around, it might be well worth holy firing it. What are you guys? Just those two guys on their own. You can... Making a dagger does give plus one attack to the squire. So... That that actually would make your two guys big enough to kill the holy champion. Ambusher, he's pretty rough, although now you can't inspire. Oh my god, are you going to leave this stuff... Oh my god. Whoa. You just got... Owned. You don't even know it yet. Wow, should you have, like, made a dagger and, like, stabified her. God. You're gonna be so unhappy in a sec. A Holy Nova? Nah, that doesn't really change my plan. I'll do it later. We're gonna kill you. And then we're gonna blow you up, thus returning that thing to your hand. You're fired. Holy, you're fired. Maybe if Trump doesn't win the election, he can run for Pope. Let's not think about that too much. I think it's surrender time, buddy. And my hand just gets worse. Like, the holy champion surviving that first turn, at that point, is like, all oh, goodness. Okay. Prepare to die. Um, we're just gonna go. Oh, I'm not gonna get that much healing out of the Holy Nova. It turns out. Whoops. Oh, well, we're doing it anyway. She's actually not gonna grow as big as I was hoping, but yeah. I could heal this again and then hit. Yeah, okay. Actually, that's pretty good. Because now, even if the champion dies. You're a turn late on that, but fair enough. The Holy Champion gets going, it's pretty ridiculous. Okay. There, my opponent had opportunities to kill the Holy Champion. It would have been really, really costly. It's almost always the right move to kill the Holy Champion. Just like it's almost always the right move to kill the Sensei. If I had some way to kill that Sensei, I would have killed it, because damn. I haven't seen the winter version of this battleground yet. Um, it's a slow hand. I really like this guy with those two guys, but in practice, not going to work out yet. We're going to have to keep him because he's castable. We're going to keep the Holy Champion. Normally I push them, but... Oh my god. Well, that's not good. I think with four cards in hand, it's tempting to keep the Holy Champion because they're good. I should have pitched it anyway because I know that I've got so much four-cost stuff in this deck. Oh my god. I might just get owned here, though. Because I've got nothing coming. I've got... I really need to draw some cheaper things. I don't... Like, playing the Recombobulator without Recombobulating anything, that's fine. That's not, like, an issue. The issue is I've got nothing to follow it up with, and I have to coin him out. And I'm going to have to coin him out now because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to lose my loot hoarder to the spider. It's really sad. Too bad. This guy's so awesome sometimes, but... Part of the reason he's awesome is because you can just play him as a 3-2, and he's fine. He's a perfectly good raptor.
Do. Well, that's very card efficient. I don't know if that's the worst thing that could have happened for my for your turn. But I'm I'm okay with that turn in practice. I don't like that the hat's gonna stay. It's gonna be unpleasant in the long term, but in the short term, that could have been much much worse. Okay, we got a loot hoarder out. He doesn't have anything in play to kill it immediately, which means it might actually accomplish something before drawing the card. If I could keep board control and then just thought steal. Okay, well that sucks. Still, you're not doing much to stop me. Let's thought steal and see what I get. Piece of crap. Uh, I've got a lot of I've got discover powers. Um. I think I should just kill that. I think that the game going longer is more in my favor. I don't think if I, I if I hit him for two and he hits me back for two, I think that's benefiting him more. Nothing on the board is nice. I mean, and otherwise he has the choice anyway. If he thinks it would benefit him, he would do the kill anyway. So I might as well not give him the choice. I don't know if it counts as board control when I have nothing out though. So, what's up? You want to shoot me for two and end your turn. Shooting me for two will be fine. That's right, the Holy Champion. I do have two of them, so even if he has stuff out that, like, I, I've got to not be so tight that the Holy Champion will be like, No, I don't want to put it out if it might get attacked! Like, no, no, i got to put it out. And if it survives, it'll be awesome. Um, you're running out of time, dude. You might want to play some cards. Or did you go AFK and just give me a free win? I don't know. Okay, either AFK or possibly playing possum. Who knows? A holy champion on a clear board? I'm okay with that. You, you play possum all you want. Okay. Could do another Holy Champion, or I could do the Demolisher. Demolisher gives me board control, and I can Scarab, too. Shadow Form. Lisa needs braces. Shadow Form. Lisa needs braces. No, oh, okay. Um, I want the healing, so I don't think I'm going to take the Shadow Form. Uh, the Demolisher is technically a mech, so that would be pretty strong. On the other hand, I don't have Taunt. The Exorcist Death, probably, not, like, these are not the greatest cards for me, honestly. But, it's okay. Um, you know what, I might actually take the Technician on the gamble that this Demolisher stays alive. I don't have a lot of other mechs, but I don't know if my opponent has stuff out of there. Whatever, I'll take him. But we're going to play the Demolisher. Beats. Still fiddling, like the cards are moving over there. He's still trying. Okay. That, if that's a freezing trap, it'd be hilarious because I'm going to just attack you with the beetle. Wait. It, it got rid of the timer because he. I did, what the? As if the deadly shot hit her. That is obnoxious. You're one in three ass chance. You butthole. Explosive trap? Freezing trap. Are you going to give me back the guy that gives me a free guy? Okay. Well, you certainly weren't doing much to say in the game, but that's like a little weird. Okay, then. Uh, I guess we'll call that five wins. So, Priest Run doing okay. Get like the... The really hard, really obnoxious, like, oh my god, automatic death losses early, and then, like, get easier games now. When I have two losses, I guess that, again, it might figure into the matchmaking. I don't know. We're going to see how much harder it gets next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you. And check out our dorky, argumentative anime reviews on Enemy Indecision.